אוקיי. דיבור לאמון על דף קי"ד, דיבור לאמון על חלק בייס, דף קי"ד. זה אוסם ותרבל סמאמן וזויר. That everybody should know, כל פנים, at least how far the, the Avera of Dvar Betelem in the middle of Limud reach. It said in the Zohar that anybody who learns Torah and stops in the middle, you know, in, in other Dibur, and it says over there, you know, and the mashma over there is that he's saying things are not proper. You know, like, like, like nibble pants, stuff like that, you know, it's like that. And immediately, he comes back to his limud, he is being manada, he's being shunned, mishamai. You know, they the, 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 the boycott him for 40 days. And there's a cruise, there's, there's an announcement going up in all the world that this person is banned for 40 days. In all these 40 days, he's banned mishamai. His tefillahs are not the Kabbal. They don't accept his tefillahs. And after 40 days, there's another announcement comes out that the Chaim was taken off that person. That's what this Mama of Zohar is saying. And a lot of Sifi Musas are talking about this particular Zohar. The Zohar says that, 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 that every Pgam, that the Pgam that from which the person being menudah and Shemayim, is that because he went back to learning after he made his mouth filthy with the Buddha Masur. So a person needs to understand, so, so what are you supposed to do? A person stopped and he fell. Okay, he learned and then he spoke something he shouldn't have learned. Okay. So because he spoke the one that he should not, should not go back to learning, what's he supposed to do? As the, the, as, as, as the Gemara says, anybody who eats uh, uh, garlic and his mouth smells, what, well, he'll eat some more garlic? What's he supposed to do? But what he needs to do according to what the Zerkos is saying here is before he goes back to learning, let him feel the Tsar in his heart and make a harata <coughs> So this, that, that, that he, he, he defiled the words of Hashem. When he stopped in the Burim Asurim, in the bosom, in the middle of learning Torah. And he will make a noha, he will sigh. He will accept upon himself to be careful from now on, from stopping in the middle, in the middle of learning. Then the Vada will not be punished. This punishment will be banned for 40 days. Because the main gam in the Dibur, in the middle of Limon and coming back, is it seems that the learning and the speaking of trash and going back to learning is the same, it's the same thing. But here now I'm learning and now I'm talking trash. This brings a big kit to a But you, just, you spoke Dibur, which are improper, when now you're learning in the middle of learning the Torah, <coughs> at least regret it. At least regret it. Give, give a protest. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want to speak this kind of Dibur. It captures me. I don't want to do this kind of Vinyan in the middle of learning. Express your pain from the Bizoyan that you mevazah, that you deride in Dibur Torah. You know, and then, just a minute ago, and then you can go back to learning. Hot car. What's the name?